Vivi. Now we're gonna see Jen and Vivi. And Jen, uh, not Jen. Vivi is wisely going Lucario. Because even though Hero has balance, it, this is not a fun matchup whatsoever. I can't even imagine, you know, bounce being as influential in a Palutena matchup because it goes... she has those really unconventional projectiles. Yeah, exactly. Like, you think, oh, yes, I have bounce. But it's like, typically a lot of Palutena don't even use auto reticle and uh, plus a flame that often anyway, unless, they, unless you're in a very specific ledge hopping situation. So it's almost useless. And Lucario is just a better fit against uh, Palu in general. It's faster. Can catch her a little bit more, and also has the uh, the aura, which we're start, we're seeing Vivi start to rack up <laughs> yep. a lot of. Ooh, a mis uh, turn turned around grab. Vivi in opening right now. Down air putting Jen off stage. Ooh, the aura sphere pressure is so scary. No punish on the down smash. Jen was a little too far away. Mm -hmm. Oh, just barely Huge catching aura Jen. Off the stage before Jen could actually like get the le ledge invincibility. That's 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 huge. That's really big because now Lucar has has aura, has rage, and Paolo has up smash. Yeah, and I mean I think in that situation up smash was it covered so many of Vivi's options. Yeah. Because you know extreme speed so difficult to catch because Vivi can go at all these wacky angles. But what if Jen just puts a giant wall of exactly. <laughs> A giant laser beam, if anything. What are you gonna do? Go over it and then get punished for it with like down smash? Like, yeah, hello? you go straight up and then you're drifting for a century. And then you're going like all. Yeah, no, it wasn't worth it. it had definitely had taken a lot of Vivi's uh, options away. And now Jen has had a really good advantage against Vivi, even though Vivi does have, of course, they have uh, Aura at their advantage. Jen can really capitalize on a lot of these other type of situations that he's really good at. And I think it's other against a lot of players. Okay, Fistle Flame. Yeah, I like the Explosive Flame to get the pressure off of, off of Jen. Great instant dash attack. And Jen back off stage. Now BB off stage. This is where... Trying to get one more up smash, but not going to take it quite then and there. Yeah, we can actually see, you know, BB learn their lesson. Uh, they're going they're going low. They're doing that sort of wall bounce trick with the, uh, the extreme speed. Not trying to get too framed. No. And likely not going to be recovering high for quite a while. Yeah, you don't want to get caught by that. Oh, okay. You don't want to get caught by Polly back in. You don't want to get caught by uh, Smash at all off the ledge. But instead, um, Jen still takes it. Like, Jen still takes the stock no matter what. So I, I think the answer is just simply don't leave the stage. <laughs> just don't get put off stage. Just don't get put off stage. Oh, that's a... Ooh, that was a hard read that they were going for. All right, but there we go. Vivi, that time, recognizing that Jen wasn't in a position to you know, react to a high extreme speed. Vivi able to take advantage right there. Very what odd, a odd angle. Definitely caught Jen off guard, yeah. Now, oh, Vivi's nobody. got stock aura, too, and that's all it takes, even at just 81. You got kind of hot. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Tell me how it feels. Tell me how it feels. They don't feel good. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, just trying to get the little bit of those, those ju Palu juggle combos going on. Oh, oh my wow. god, the reflector! No, but that's like a really funny like situation because Jen just stood there and just reflected it back. <laughs> no, there's no way. Went behind and just pulled yep. it out. Oh my god. And from that close, you're not gonna react to that. Absolutely no, I think not. it was it was definitely a read on Vivi's position. Yeah. Because he was or they were, you know, moving away, they were in that sort of middle range. I think it's a kind of a uh, not a default decision to do there, to do the B reverse big projectile, but it's certainly I think it's a common decision. Yeah, usually Vivi does like to go if when they're in that kind of that this uh, disadvantage, but they have high aura. They will typically go for that shield pressure, big aura charge up, and then typically just be reverse and just you know, get out of the way. And Jen was like, I have a reflector that everyone forgets about. Right. <laughs> like, and then from that close range as well, you're impossible to react to. Great, great parry there by Vivi. Getting these low aura combos right now. Oh, getting put off, or put themselves off stage rather. Jen getting the down air, but not, you know, too early mm -hmm. percentage to really matter. But Jen is putting on the damage right now. Right, 
here we go. I mean, this is just, this definitely looks like a better outcome for uh, VV in this first few seconds of this first of the second game. Uh, they're definitely getting a better, uh, more percentage on Jen than they had the first time, because Jen had a really good advantage over VV for a good majority of game one. But now VV's like, all right, um, I, I have my actual skin on. I'm good now. <laughs> Got the correct color. I have yeah. the correct color. And getting the backer to take Jen's uh, first stock. Only 60% on Vivi right now. And we're going to see another throw conversion. And Vivi's just been kind of running away right now. Both both running away with the game, but, you know, making Jen come to Vivi right, right now. Yeah, I definitely think that this kind of uh, come and go game that VB's decided to adapt for a situation is a little bit smarter than having to than what they were doing earlier in the first game. But I I, th I think that that reflector just reminded them, oh, this is basically like bounce, but like <laughs> he can activate wow. it whenever. And I think that that, that calm patience that VB is now enacting right right here is oh goodbye is doing wonders for him in the second game. Right, I think, you know, realizing that Palutena is such a defensive powerhouse with all sorts of, you know, reversals out of shield, with, like the neutral air, and just all these huge lingering hitboxes that make it difficult for, or make it difficult to approach a Palutena. So, you know, slowing the game down uh, really worked wonders for PB. Definitely, but now you have to worry about the fact that now Jen has also slowed down uh, his own game plan. You know, he's catching a lot of VV on the ledge and has to kind of mix up his recovery. Oh, that could be a great punish. That little spot dodge was like, oh, right. <laughs> just in case I got hit. Yeah, I think VV may have expected a uh, teleport cancel off the ledge there and just wasn't ready. Oh, but yeah. ready for that force palm. VV now in a fairly comfortable lead. 90%, but that's, you know, a huge aura. Oh. Huge aura, get more percentage, you, get start, you start to get really, like, get max rage going, and you are in a very dangerous position. As Jen. And Vivi has a whole different, I know, other stock. He does. And the percentage is piling on Jen right now. 82% and offstage, you're offstage against a high... Oh, there it is. Oh, that time, actually, I think it, it was a <laughs> low charge yeah. or a spear. Thankfully, he didn't kill the way that it, it did the first game. That was shambles. What a parry on the extreme speed, but still not able to oh find anything God. like it. Great the parries on the aura sphere. Let's talk about it. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was basically the key that Jenny in order to finalize that second stock for VV. But now we have okay, we have Paul with max rage. Jen has to really key in what happened in the first game and use that to his advantage right now. Because right now, VB, even though he's kind of like, you know, he, he's in low tier right now. This is like low tier Lucario <laughs> with, you know, 12%. Doesn't matter if you're low tier if Doesn't you're getting matter. reads like that. Yeah. That's all that VB needed. Absolutely all that they needed. Yeah, and just, you know, slowing down that game plan and... Mm -hmm. Because yeah. now you've caught Jen a little bit off guard. Now you've gone with a much slower game plan than Lucario typically plays at. Plays like, like Lucario typically plays at like a medium kind of speed, medium fast, and can rack it up so quickly with Aura Sphere pressure into the reverse. All right, and we're going to be seeing the Hollow Bastion counter pick. Hollow Bastion, my beloved. Which, Hollow Bastion. You know, I think will play into those Palutena strengths oh, I was yeah. talking about earlier. You know. Getting that defensive powerhouse even more with the literal house in the center Literally. of the stage. <laughs> this Jen is, is going to be moving house. in. Got the mortgage all paid and everything. <laughs> I pay the bills. I'm remodeling <laughs> the kitchen right now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh no. And what were we saying? I know platform is going to be really good for those juggles catching BB on when uh, they're trying to recover back on the platform. That's good for catching those uh, those moments for for Jen, of course. And you can already see there, uh, you know, BB trying trying to make their way in, but the platform limiting the angles that they can come in at. And this is Jen's house. No solicitors. <laughs> and no a solicitors. zero to death. Making sure that. Jen is sitting comfy right now in this game three. So Vivi started the game with uh, two stocks, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah, it's a unconventional handicap that we've been 
implementing here. Yeah, this stage is, I don't think it's been really fun for Lucario. Just have as many places Ooh. to like capitalize on with the uh, with only just one central platform rather than two. You know, you get less surface area. That was a really tricky teleport there by Jen, uh, actually going just above the platform instead of any sort of you know teleport cancels. I like the idea, but Vivi was ready for it. Now Vivi does have stock aura, so you know certainly not out of things. And Jen is getting to those red percentages. Mm -hmm. Not going to be finding an up air there, though. Vivi trying to move into the uh, the house right now. Great this parry. is the house. Look, see, this is where Palu really wants to stay comfortable. Her head's protected. Well, that's funny. But, like, he's on the platform, so you can capitalize on a lot of your movements where you're trying to recover on the platform. And good job not getting hit by the aura steer clipping through the stage. But you yeah. would get caught by the, the, the dash attack instead. Yep, yeah, and, you know, only 82% on VD right now. Obviously, it's, you know, get to those higher percents, but he does. Uh, they do have Aura, and not quite at those super scary kill percents. No punish on the uh, the counter reflect there. Yeah, absolutely no no kind of a uh, situation going on for VD. He's at a high percentage, of course. That throw, not going to quite take it, and not going to be maybe a ledge trap. Oh, waiting for the up smash, yeah. Yep, there we go. Again, using that wall bounce to make sure that they can get to the ledge, you know, scot-free. Yeah, safely. Definitely don't want a, a repeat of game one. Go to a frame with the up smash, like, Ayo. Ooh, great great parry, parry on the extreme speed. And now I think what we may be seeing is, you know, sort of the downside to that adaptation that we saw in game two, where, you know, Vivi is starting to slow down that game plan a little bit. But I think that may be preventing them from throwing, uh, pulling the trigger on some uh, some punish sit situations. And now Jen is sitting pretty with only 48% on a second stop. Oh, good couple right there. Would have been really, not lethal, but would have been uh, un not fun if Hattie got in that, uh, the back throw, the back air, hello. Right. <laughs> Great read on that air dodge there by Vivi. Not able to get any uh, nair planes started just yet. Ben is playing things safe right now, only throwing out those, you know, safe back airs, getting the neutral air starter. Okay, good frame track. And oh. a crazy no, whip can, punish. Yeah, that can, that, 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 not gonna take it quite there, but I, I, for a second I was like, alright, is, is it really gonna take it? But no, we got crazy DI players right now. Okay, alright, this is where it's scary for Jen. You know, VB for all intents and purposes is looking like they're playing a DLC character right now with this high aura. Ooh, not, not able to get the conversion. Here, no. This oh, time, but, uh, didn't no. get the reverse. The last hit was supposed to be actually kind of hitting right there. It's <laughs> just being right through Jen. Now Jen is going to be kind of Ooh, going, going for a lot of multi-hits as much as he can right now. Trying to let guard VB is right, right in this situation. Down to waiting Waits on the air back dodge, air. But no. not able to space it correctly. Oh my oh, god. That's a big aura sphere. <laughs> I would have like 30, I think. That dash attack sent Jen so far. This is an angry dog right now. Dash For attack? A second, okay. I didn't see what happened. I thought aura sphere got him. Right? <laughs> I was like, there's no way Jen died at 30. Yeah, I was like, from all the over sphere. there, like. That's. Yeah, you really know. quick dash attack. And I mean. Bop. That's good awareness from Jen because it the shield has that intangibility, so it can actually push through that aura sphere pressure that Lucario are known to go for. Yeah, most of Jen's kills are just straight up just off the ledge, which is where Jen is such a like is so good at catching people when they're trying to recover or any like mix up or any trying of um, getting back on the stage options. So just don't get on the stage. Don't, don't, don't get off the stage. Yeah. Just stay just stay in the center stage. But I mean center stage is where Jen was. That's where the that's where the house is. They don't gotta know all that. <laughs> it's just very difficult, I think, playing against Palu in general, especially because like she has such a diverse kit uh, mm -hmm. to her disposal. She has great nares, she has great up tilts, she has great up air like juggle combo uh, like Opportunities, I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I mean, that's. I, it's just. You, 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 you gotta know the matchup. Yeah. Straight up. She's that very consistent sort of top tier, and I think that's why she's very often referred to as a gatekeeper 
for these sort of, you know, low to middling kind of characters. And, you know, uh, for as good as Vivi is, I don't want to downplay Vivi oh, at all. Oh, you already know how good Vivi is. Vivi is a, a fantastic him. player. Absolutely. Lucario is, he's down there on the tier list. He's out here. <laughs> okay, so listen. Uh, so we've been through this before. <laughs> Zero percent, like 20 percent, he's like down here. Right. Then like from 21 to like 40, he's like, all right. And then from like 50 to like 80, it's like, all right, he, he's like in like high tier. And then we get like the red og. Forget about yeah, it. Yeah, he's DLC. Forget about it. He's DLC. He's, he was 599. <laughs> but I mean, all